So you're looking at a Ziss Fry Box. And I have several of these in the fish room. They work really well for what I'm doing. In this particular one, there's L519 Plecos. Uh, it's, they're currently on the zucchini, in case you're curious. Uh, there's different models of the Ziss Fry Box. This particular one has a hard bottom mesh sides. And then there's an air stone in the back pushing the air and oxygen or air and water into the tank. Um, so this has worked fine for what I'm doing. I've been wanting to see if I could get an upgraded system. Maybe something that's a little bit better than this. Uh, this has worked fine. One of the big things I don't like is when I'm doing water changes and the water level gets below the fry box. It only has about a quarter of an inch of water left in the fry box. So, you know, if they're up on the walls or if they're on the food or on a, the top of leaf, I gotta make sure they get down into that quarter inch of water while I'm doing my water changes. Because uh, if not, as the water is getting filled back in the tank, there may be some undue stress on the fry that is uh, only has a quarter inch of water for a couple of minutes. So anyway, decent setup, but I'm looking for a, a better system. So I come across a video on YouTube. It's Lowell's Fish Lab, and he's made several 3D prints of his own version. I really like it. I think uh, this particular model or uh, version that he made is suited for my needs. So I've got a local buddy. His name is Josh. I was a 3D printing company here, and he printed one out for me, and I really like it. So, starting from the bottom, bought the uh, intake sponge from Petco. It's uh, for a flugel edge, a couple bucks. Airline goes in. This is all 3D printed. Goes into the intake, and look at this massive container. This is where the air and uh, water come in. It's got a nice cap to stop the spray, but yet you still have a good amount of water going through. I don't know exactly what the capacity of this, but it's easily two to three quarts. And then the output, um, got a, a sponge on the output. Okay, there you go on the output to stop the fry from getting out and it's really nice so I'm gonna start having my friend print some off and switch it over to this new system I think you know with the light directly above I'll put some katapa leaves and some wood in here so they have a place to hide and I think with the white bottom the white sides I can get my turkey baster in here and I can really clean this area up really easy, pretty fast. And uh, as I put my food in here, to, I can really watch them, whether it's maybe brown shrimp or some micro foods, to really watch them eat. And so I think going from the Zis Fry Box to this 3D printed Fry Box is going to be a big upgrade. Tell me what you think.